My name is Duncan Fowler. I'm from Middlebury, Vermont. I applied to a number of colleges in the Northeast area. I finally decided on Clarkson, just the small atmosphere. It was in an area that I like pretty well. It's not a huge campus, which is a much nicer feeling than something you can get in schools that have a student body ranging in the 10 to 20,000. Originally, I entered Clarkson as a mechanical engineer. Realized that wasn't really what I wanted to do. Math has never been my strong suit, and I realized after taking quite a few uh, drafting courses in high school and Voc Tech Center, uh, I realized I was much more interested in the modeling aspect of things and creating as detailed models as I could and creating scenes that they would look realistic in. And some of the 3D modeling courses, they were small enough where you could go in and even during class time, uh, a professor would make a, cir a circle around the class, um, kind of cycle through each student, check up their progress, and he was able to spend at least a couple minutes with you kind of pointing out things that you might want to improve, um, how you could improve them, and actually sometimes going through the steps if you didn't quite understand uh, kind of what he was driving at. The level of technology Clarkson is able to provide to its students is one of the more helpful things on campus because it allows you to much more fluidly understand what the professor is trying to teach you in class, especially in the modeling courses. It's been an amazingly tight-knit community where you meet people you're never going to forget for the rest of your life. And being in an environment like that makes learning at a place like this even more effective. When everyone has a project due the same weekend, everyone's going to be in the lab working on this, and there's always someone there that you can go to. It's like, I'm having this problem. Can you help me figure it out? Nine times out of ten, perfectly happy to drop what they're doing and go figure out what's up with your project.